Another school year is underway. Here in Ashwabana, Wisconsin, students are gearing up for more than a typical curriculum. They're trading lectures and laptops for fiberglass, transmissions, and an opportunity to take their final exam on the Road America track. Ever since I was little, I'd go to the races, and it's something that's involved with my family. I knew about this program at the school. I didn't realize that it was such like a big process that we had. We designed cars from the ground up and we race them in the spring every year. It's a lot of learning about engineering and manufacturing. The goal basically was to develop a program where the kids could build a car in the high school setting and be able to bring it to a track. So they're learning CAD work, welding, fabrication skills, troubleshooting skills. Each car, we have a whole group of students working together as a team doing different things. And I have students working on, on our stalker design. We've got students working on a car from last year that needs modifications. So all those students are working on different things, but they're all as part of a team. First, we find our inspiration. We had the Brunton Super Stalker chassis. We modeled that on Inventor, reverse engineered it, and then recreated the new chassis from the ground up. So cutting the tubing, tacking, welding. From there, we assembled the car together where we race it for the first year, and then we designed the bodywork for it the next year. This year, we're gonna do the finishing touches, so it's just done. So it's a full process from the start to the finish. Our track days are always in May. All the schools uh, that are involved in the program take their cars down to SeaTech Manufacturing Motorplex at Road America. Everyone gets two laps on the track. Track day? gets real stressful for the kids because all their work now is being tested on the track. And the cars handle just like an actual race car. They're basically going out against the clock and they're trying to set their best lap times. So any problem that we have, we have to figure out as a team. Last year on the Stalker, we had to take out the engine probably seven times during the track day. So it was a little upsetting, but at the end we got it fixed. And that's what we want the students to be able to do, to stand on their own two feet when they get out in, out in the world working a real job that they're their own person and they're, they can solve their own problems. It's one thing to build it and then say that you built it, but then it's one thing to experience it and be able to race what you built and be able to see like your team experience it too is really exciting. We've received tremendous support from our community. Each one of our cars has several sponsors who help in different ways. We've had community businesses looking to build the, the skills and students that we're building who've donated large pieces of equipment. The students actually go out and present to potential sponsors as far as a life skill of, of making a presentation with a goal to try and get support from that sponsor and it gives the students a real world chance to feel that pressure and be able to organize and go through that process and do it as a team. The students who like hands-on projects come to these programs and get engaged and start seeing what opportunities are out there and communities all over need people with those skills so it's really a great connection with our local businesses and businesses around the state. A lot of students have gone into our technical fields and a lot of them are going on the four-year colleges. Um, I have students that have gone on to develop synthetic red blood cells, students that are test pilots uh, for the military. Uh, it, it's a wide range and again what are we really trying to do with the program? Show the students how to, to use their skills in a real-world experience and represent themselves professionally and represent a sponsor professionally. Some of the students that you didn't think were a leader step up. When they are given that chance, they step up and, and they become that leader to where they're directing their own vehicle or the team's vehicle and the other students respect them for it. That's the neat part when you've got students working together side by side and one student may be working with another student that may not know how to do this welding and they, here, this is how we do this. And again, they learn together. This is the Bantam Stalker, and the main purpose of it was to have a driving instructor in the passenger seat while the student is driving. So I first started working on it um, my freshman year. The engine was donated by Briggs & Stratton to us. Um, it's a third, 35 horsepower uh, big block engine. It can bring the car up to 55, 60 miles an hour. Like, after being a part of this program, I now know for sure that I want to go into mechanical engineering um, in my future. So it's really helped me decide what I wanted to do. I knew I was kind of interested in going into an engineering pathway, but after this class, it's really solidified that that's what I want to do. Marissa came to me. She's like, I want to learn about cars. That tool you haven't you, you've got in your hand there? I'm like, yeah. I don't know what it is. And I looked at it, I'm like, it's a ratchet. 
handed it to her, I said, this is how you use it. That's how she started. It went from not knowing anything about cars but an interest to she designed her own vehicle and worked in a team and got it built. When you have a student that is got an interest, but if you get them excited about one thing, how far they can go if they just push themselves and you just support that interest, it's neat to see how far they can go. The Formula Student Program gives high school students the unique opportunity to design, build, and race their own cars. Education just doesn't get any more hands-on than this. Thanks for joining me on the road.